This is Cal. Topic 6.4. We're looking for the consumer surplus and we're given the demand function and we're given the current price of $10. Now consumer surplus formula is zero to the current demand and the integral of the price function with respect to Q minus the current price times the current demand. Now, so to make this work, we need current price, and we have it at $10. We also need current demand, which we don't have. So I'm going to take the function Q equals 50 minus 3 times P, and I'm going to put the current price of $10 in here for price. So this will be Q equals 50 minus 3 times 10, and this will be Q equals 50 minus 30, and that's current demand equals 20 items or 20. So we have the current price and now we have the current demand of 20 items. Alright, next we need the price function. Well, we don't have the price function. Instead we have the demand function which is uh, Q equals 50 minus 3P. Well, I'm going to solve for P and we're going to have the price function. So I'm going to put 3P on this side and that's going to equal negative Q plus 50. Divide all sides by 3, all terms by 3, and I'm going to get price equals negative one-third Q plus 50 over 3. Okay, now I have my price function. So let's put the price function into um, our consumer surplus. So we'll have 0 to the current um, Q, which is 20, current demand, and the price function is going to be negative one-third Q plus 50 over 3, and that'll be minus the um, current price, which is 10, the current demand, which is 20. All right. Now, I need to take the antiderivative of this function right here, which will be negative one-third Q to the second power and times one-half plus 50 over 3Q. And all that will be evaluated from 0 to 20. 10 times t um, 20 will be 200, so that's minus 200. Okay, now let's put 20 in here. Now. 20 squared is going to be 400. 400 divided by 2 is going to be 200 over 3 with a negative. So negative 200 all over 3. And if I put the 20 here, 20 times 50, 2 times 5 is 10 with two zeros. And that's all over 3. And if I put 0 here and here, we get 0. So that washes, and then minus 200. So negative 200 over 3 plus 1,000 over 3 gives me 800 over 3 minus 200. OK, I'm going to put 200 over 3 by making this 600 over 3, and that will give me 200 over 3. All right, 3 goes into 20 six times. And let's see here, the 18 that leaves me 20. That goes in another six times. And then I have uh, decimals of repeating sixes, so that's 67 cents. Okay, so that'll be $6.67 would be my consumer surplus.